This is the Nordic Hyper GHD, the world's best home gym product. It's a GHD back extension, reverse hyper, Nordic bench, hip thrust, and sit up bench, all in one. Let me show you. So right off the bat, let me show you GHD sit-ups. Really easy to get in. You have that foot step right there, feet slide in, and ready to rock. And if you're training explosive, CrossFit style, we got you covered. You can load weight plates on the front to keep the hyper stable and secure. And once you're done, again, real easy, just step off right like that. The next movement I'm gonna show is 90 degree back sessions. So take the GHD pad right off, take this off as well. And by the way, when out of use, you don't wanna lose this thing. This store is right under here. So won't forget that. Set your height, so just make sure as you use it, lock that in, do everything nice and tight, and hop right in. This movement, I'm a big fan of 90 degree back extensions. They're a lot more low back dominant compared to 45 degree back extension. And a regressed version of this is called the Sorensen Hold, where you essentially hold this position. I'll show it on screen, where you can actually do it from the ground. Make it a little bit easier to get in. And you can progress this movement with bands, with weights, a lot of different ways to go about it. And a really good compliment to this is reverse hyper. Lock this right back in, and the way it works is this slides, falls in, and then this screw here, a couple quick twists, and now it's secure. You take the sit-up pad, just insert there. This is why we have that cutout for a reverse hyper. Once this pad is installed, it is 40 inches off the ground, which is same as a standard GHD. Allows you get four inch motion on reverse hyper. So I'm five foot 10 and see this is where my feet fall. I have a good bit of distance and get up and down. You have handles right here, make it nice and comfortable. And this movement you can progress with bands. I'll show you that. So a lot of the different movements you can train with band. We have four band pegs. Two on the side and two in the middle. This is the best one for reverse hyper, in my opinion. Just a normal set of bands here, loop it in, feet go there. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you more tension at the top of the movement. Whether that's 90 degree back extension or reverse hyper, just pulse up and down like that. And this movement gets a ton of blood flow into the low back. It's like sledding for the low body. Great movement paired with 90 degree back extensions to build a strong and healthy low back. Next mode up is 45 degree back extensions. Just pull that knob and it folds right down. And then you take off this GHD pad, take off the insert. I'll show you why it's labeled set up in a couple of minutes as well. Just pop it right there and then take the Nordic pad out. Both for GHD and for back extension mode, you have 12 positions. I'll show a pop up on screen of the engravings. Goes all the way down to this height. So whether you're four foot 10 or seven foot tall, we actually do have you covered. Real big range. Let me just show you on the shorter side. So I'm, again, I'm 5'10", which is quite a bit of space. If you're curious, the exact measurements, they are up on the website versus at the top position. If you're a shack, if you're Dwayne The Rock Johnson, we got you covered as well. This is not just a back extension, but it is the best back extension. These dual rollers right here are ever so comfortable. You have the cutout here for the twins. For most movement, that's gonna be the preference if you're a guy. So for 45 degree back extensions, trap three raises, you're gonna wanna use that. What I'm a big fan of is QL raises. You slot this in, it just inserts, step right in. And now this gives you a little bit extra support on QL raises, makes it real comfortable. So big fan of that. You have handles here for assistance, rubberized grip. You have the option to overload with bands as well. So next movement is Nordic mode. It is the Nordic hyper after all. So slots in just like that. You secure this and then you pop everything right back in. Just takes five or 10 seconds. You have that Nordic pad again, two, three turns. This is personal preference, but I like to use it for Nordics. And then that GHD pad, you leave off unless you want to do glute ham raises, which I'll show shortly. Best Nordic bench. You full reps, just like that. And they're freaking difficult, but got you covered. So nice thing here is you have 10 levels of incline. So you can go anywhere from zero all the way up to 45 degree. Zero, five, 10, 15, five degree increments. 45 degree is a fantastic starting point. If you're coming off an injury, if you're new to Nordics, it's a really, beginner friendly way to get started. You can even use your hands for assistance. As you get stronger, you progress down, you get to make it strict and measurable. 40 degree, 35, 30, all the way down until zero and beyond. We even have decline Nordic. It is just an insanely difficult movement. Props to you if you get there. There are two kinds of people. There are Nordic people and there are glute ham raise people, but we got you both covered. No need to fight today. The pad connects just like that. Now you have a floor GHD for full glute ham raises. Traditionally, you train flat, but again, 
You have all the same features, all the same modes. You can bring this up to incline if you wanna make the movement easier, and you can do decline. Plenty of options there, bulletproof your hamstrings. Next mode I wanna show is the hip thrust mode. So just fold this out of the way. Again, no pit add on here. This is fully included. You take the existing anchor roller. This is a one piece roller, premium vinyl, 4.9 inch diameter, so incredibly comfortable. You have this pin right here, slides out, inserts, and then you turn this red knob. And now you have a full hip thrust bench. So this has seven levels of height. You can train hip thrusts, Bulgarian split squats, reverse Nordics, couch stretch, Copenhagen's. So, so many beneficial lower body movements. It's just such a game changer to have a comfortable, easy way to set this up. All right, we have one more mode, I promise. Decline sit-ups. This goes to 20 degree. You can adjust from five degree to 10, 15, and 20. You can hear this knob right here. I'm gonna show that in use. So you have the GHD pad here, and this right here. Comes right off, inserts, and this is gonna go under your knees. So for me, right about there. You have a handle on the top of this to make it easy to get in. So it's grabbed there. Just like that. And now you have a full decline sit-up bench. You can train decline sit-ups, Russian twists, leg raises, knee tucks, so many different movements to build a strong core. And you're done, very easy to get out. You just grab this handle right here and ready to go. That's it, this is the Nordic Hyper GHD. It's the world's best home gym product. It's six in one. Just one more time. It's a GHD, reverse hyper, back extension, Nordic bench, hip thrust, and sit-up bench. Still blows my mind, but it's real, it's here, and it is for you. When you're done training, doesn't matter how good a product is, if it takes up too much space. Shout out Coop Garage Room Reviews, we have been listening. Vertical storage, real quick, wheels around, pop it just like that. It's a ridiculous proposition. Six in one, six key machines for building the perfect home gym, for truly bulletproofing your body. It takes up practically no space. If you're looking to bulletproof your body and save some space, the Nordic Hyper is for you.